In the heart of the oppressive Blackwood Forest, where ancient trees stood sentinel, their gnarled branches clawing at the moonless sky, I found myself ensnared in a tale that could send shivers down the spine of even the bravest souls, a nightmarish narrative known as the Blackwood Slasher. The locals dared only to whisper his dreaded name, convinced that uttering it would be a beckoning call to the malevolent spirit that haunted these benighted woods. It was a bone-chilling autumn evening when my friend Mark and I, driven by a potent mixture of youthful curiosity and reckless bravado, resolved to put the enduring legend to the test. We huddled around a feeble campfire on the forest's edge, our faces dancing in the flickering flames. The forest loomed ominously before us, its ancient mysteries seemingly inviting us into a world of eerie enigma. Do you seriously buy into this macabre tale of a deranged killer stalking these woods? Mark taunted, his voice steeped in skepticism. A chill crept down my spine as I replied, Come on, Mark. It's just an old myth besides we a campfire, marshmallows, and each other. What's the worst that could happen? As the sun dipped beneath the horizon, we ventured deeper into the heart of the forbidding forest, our lanterns offering a feeble defense against the encroaching darkness. The trees closed in around us, their grotesque branches intertwined like skeletal fingers, casting grotesque silhouettes on the forest floor. An eerie breeze rustled the leaves overhead, a murmur of secrets too dark to decipher. Mark's skepticism slowly gave way to unease, and he finally admitted, maybe we should head back. Yet, my determination held fast. Just a little farther, I insisted, my willpower surpassing my trepidation. We pressed onward until we stumbled upon an ancient, forgotten cabin. Its time-worn boards groaned in protest as we approached, and the moonlight struggled to breach the dense canopy, casting a spectral glow on the cabin's decaying facade. Our curiosity bested our fear as we pushed open the cabin door, revealing a room shrouded in shadow. The air inside was heavy with the musty stench of decay and something more sinister. On the walls, a gruesome mural depicted scenes of unspeakable violence and horror. Mark's skepticism evaporated as he stammered, we need to get out of here. However, I was already drawn to a decrepit journal lying atop a dusty table. As I turned its crumbling pages, it unveiled the tormented thoughts of a man who had succumbed to the darkest madness. The writer spoke of an insatiable urge, a ravenous hunger to etch the agony of the world into the living flesh. The final entry detailed his escape into the heart of the Blackwood Forest, believing that it was there he could revel freely in his vile desires. Emily, we must leave, now. Mark pleaded. But it was too late. A bone-chilling gust swept through the cabin, extinguishing our lanterns. The room plunged into abyssal darkness, leaving us in a harrowing void. Fumbling for my flashlight, I revealed the terror in my eyes with trembling hands. In the feeble beam of light, we beheld it, a grotesque figure lurking in the corner of the room. The Blackwood Slasher, his tattered garb soaked in the blood of countless victims, his eyes ablaze with unholy madness. With a guttural growl, he lunged at us, wielding a rusted blade that gleamed malevolently in the scant light. Panic surged through us as we stumbled backward, frantically seeking an escape. We burst out of the cabin and into the night, but the forest had transformed. The once familiar path had vanished, replaced by an endless labyrinth of gnarled trees and shadowy figures that danced at the edge of our vision. As we fled, the Blackwood Slasher pursued us with relentless determination, his sinister laughter echoing through the ancient trees. Panic drove us deeper into the forest, where each step seemed to propel us further into the abyss. Hours blurred into an unending nightmare as we desperately evaded our relentless pursuer. Clinging to each other, our breaths ragged and hearts pounding with terror, the forest became a malevolent entity, a living nightmare conspiring to ensnare us in its web of darkness. Finally, we stumbled upon a small, moonlit clearing. Gasping for breath, we turned to confront our pursuer, ready to make our last stand. But the Blackwood Slasher had vanished, as though swallowed by the very shadows that birthed him. Mark and I never returned to the Blackwood Forest, nor did we ever speak of our nightmarish ordeal. To this day, the legend of the Blackwood Slasher persists, a cautionary tale whispered around campfires and shared in hushed tones.
Those who dare to venture into the heart of the forest do so at their own peril, for the Blackwood Slasher may still lurk in the shadows, awaiting the next unfortunate soul to cross his path.